Hello my dear beautiful bastards and welcome to Blue Rider. This is a twin stick shooter that is very stylish. It has this Worms 3D art style, if you know what the Worms 3D art style is, or the Planetary Annihilation art style, they're very similar. So once you go into the play mode, you have stages, one, two, three, four. I got to stage four before I got uh, wrecked like a little baby. But in the game, uh, you generally want to start from stage one and then try to survive as long as possible because once you start playing the game, every time you start the stage, you start from from your uh, original little little robotic self, and then when you shoot, when you shoot, your weapons are the weakest possible, you know? So, if you start from stage four, when you get to the stage four boss, your weapons are going to be weaker compared to if, for example, you started at stage one, and then you got your little guy upgraded quite a bit, and then you have strong. The fuck was that? And then you have stronger weapons to to fight the bosses with. Because at the end of each stage, you have bosses to fight with, or fight against. Fight against, yes. And once you kill the boss, you unlock, or should I say, you go to the next stage. So I got destroyed with the final boss on. Well, with the final boss that I managed to encounter on stage four, he destroyed me like a bitch. I, I, it was a problem because I messed up and got myself killed, but I had, I had like a, like an extra life. Sometimes you get an extra life. These are the bombs. Got two extra bombs. And once you, uh, once you smash this thing, you get the little thing that gives you the upgrade. And sometimes uh, in the later stages, the, these little floaty things, they change, you know, and they change colors. And depending on the color, it is either an upgrade or a weapon switch or something like that. I know that you can you can upgrade the primary weapon and you can upgrade the secondary weapon and you can switch both of them because there are different types of weapons. You know, there's not there's no, not just this one. There's there's also uh, one that uh, shoots on the sides and there's a super fast one that shoots like this. So there are different types. What is very interesting for for this game is that it kind of it kind of makes you uh, makes you want to start from stage 1 every single time. Because if you, like I said, if you st start from stage 4 and attempt to, to pass it, you're gonna have a very, very bad time. So, this is definitely something that I do not recommend. Because you're gonna get wrecked. Like a little baby. Destruction. This first stage is relatively simple and easy. So, you know, you, there's not much to do here. It's not very intense or anything. And I think, there you go. Little relic over here. Relic gives you points, and you also have this little thing in the left lower corner called uh, Rampage. It is often very, very valuable to keep destroying everything, because you lose Rampage if you don't do anything. But as soon as you start doing stuff, your Rampage points go up. At the start, all of these enemies have these little, little balls that come after you, but soon we're gonna get the first one who shoots actual rockets. I think this is the... Is this the boss already? Yes, it is. Already the boss. The first the boss. Wanna get wrecked, you motherfucker? Because you're gonna get wrecked. I hope. These are the rockets. Secondary weapon. He's gonna get destroyed relatively easily. No, I missed. Keep hitting. Hit the motherfucker. Oh, whoops. See, the first boss is... He is kinda easy. He shoots these rockets as well. And the rockets are a little bit inconvenient, to say the least. <laughs> Gotta keep dodging. Oh, shit, I got stuck. It's fine. It's alright. There you go. Destroyed. Destroyed! Absolutely devastated. Collect all of the points. All of the points. Did I get more health? I did not get more health. But it's fine, I collected everything, stage one complete, and now we go on to the stage two. It's a very cool game, you know, the Steam reviews are also very, very good for this game. So, I assume that the majority of people who, who play it, really like it. So, if you like twin stick shooters, you're probably gonna like this game as well. I am not a huge fan of twi twin stick shooters, I don't really play them that often. But this game 
enjoyable. Very, very enjoyable. I especially like the art style because I like uh, I like this art style, you know, it's it's one of my favorite art styles besides hyperrealism. Hyperrealism is the first on my list. And then it's this style, this this mix of a cartoony blobby blobby kind of thing. I'm not sure how to explain this style, but I think I think there is an explanation for this style. It should be fairly specific, but I don't know it. I don't know it exactly. Give me the four, Rampage 4. And the green blob is health. And I don't know if does it uh, disappear. But I'm gonna take it. Come on, get destroyed. Okay, I think I did destroy him. Nice. Nice. The first three stages are quite simple, but then the fourth stage gets crazy. It gets rapidly crazy. Oh. You sneaky bastard. Wait, what is this here? Ah, upgrade. Thank you. Primary weapon upgraded. So now we have three of these going like this. Very strong. Strong and destructive. Absolute devastation all over the place. I mean, generally you, you would want to, to constantly keep shooting because you have infinite primary weapon ammo. So, you know, <laughs> it's not a big deal. And this is the, the mini-boss, I would say. I think it's a mini-boss. I would call it a mini-boss. Might not be. Oh, did I get him? Oh, nice, I got him. No, I had rampage points. God damn it. And this is our little helper. Once you destroy this shit, you'll get a helper. And the strength of the helper... Shit, rampage. My rampage died. Shit. The strength of the helper depends... I think on the rampage so god damn it if you have a lot of rampage the little helper is going to be stronger as well feel the rockets you motherfucker motherfucker ha <laughs> nice these bastards need to die all of them god damn it okay very good very good now this is this is uh, where it gets a little bit complicated. There's a lot of shit happening all over the place. Then you use rockets and <laughs> everyone is dead. Everyone is dead. Are they dead? How are these motherfuckers still alive? Give me give me the bombs. Thank you very much. Okay, it's very good. It's very important to to keep some bombs at at all times because if you lose the bombs, then defeating the boss going to be a little bit shit. Ouch. Okay, thank you for the health. Thank you for the upgrade. You stupid bastard. You touched my butt very illegally. Oh, relic. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. These stationary th things are relatively easy to destroy. Not a big deal. You can always get rid of them very quickly. See how as soon as I upgraded the weapon, he, he destroys those little rockets pretty much immediately. This is the secondary weapon upgraded, so now the rockets are stronger. Which is going to be very useful once we fight the boss. Let's do this. No, my rampage died! Son of a bitch. Right before the boss. That is not good. This boss is a little bit trickier. I mean, the difference between the first boss and the second boss is quite, quite huge, actually. I'm going to attempt to, to hurt him as soon as possible. Shit, I hurt myself. Okay. There you go. See? Nice, nice. Destruction. Destruction! That is wonderful. The rockets are so strong. Uh oh. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine, see? Absolute devastation. Shit. Shit. There's quite a bit of these little stinky balls. Balls of poop. Balls of poop. God damn balls. So many goddamn balls. Holy shit. But 
I keep hitting him constantly, which means that he is dying, which means that he is going to die. He is going to die very soon. Nice. This was awesome. Primary weapon swapped. See, now I have this, now I have a different primary weapon, and you're gonna see it. You're gonna see it. It's, it's wonderful. Let's do this. See, this is the second type of a primary weapon, and it is super strong. It's like a machine gun. Shit. God damn it. It's like a machine gun. Only better because it's lasers. So basically, every time you die, you're going to probably want to start from the beginning because your weapons are simply going to be too too weak. Going to be a weak little baby. And that is always bad. You want a lot of strength in your bones the entire time. Without strength, there is no happiness. Without happiness, there is no joy. And without joy... What? Without joy? There is no prosperity. Exactly right. I love this weapon. It's just, it's so satisfying to use it. It's a super satisfying weapon. I love it. The absolute devastation of everyone around me. Wonderful. Oh, you little bastard. You think you hurt me? No, you did not. There we go. And now I think this one changes. Does it change? This is a swapping. I don't want to swap the weapon, so I'm gonna keep this weapon and continue the devastation. I'm going to attempt to get to the next boss because the boss fights are the real deal. You know, the boss fights are quite fun compared to everything else, but I mean, the entire thing is reasonably interesting. The only difference... Uh, oh, the only difference between these little things and the actual boss fights is that in the boss fights you have very limited movement and with very limited movement there's only so much you can do so it becomes quite exciting when you lose space but in stage 4 you also lose quite a bit of space because of the level design which is very tricky very very tricky level design and I must say that I am I was surprised when I saw the level design it was quite quite sneaky. Oh, shit. Oh, nice. See, extra chance. Now I have an extra life. So if I die, they are going to give me another chance. Which is very, very generous of them. So very generous. I wonder will I be able to survive the fourth stage. I am not exactly sure. Doesn't seem very possible. I'm definitely gonna try. Get a stupid bastard with his stupid fucking rockets. This is a secondary weapon upgrade, right? Thank you. So the rockets are now even stronger. The rockets have reached the Super Saiyan mode. Can I say that? Does that make sense? Uh, I feel like that doesn't make sense if I say it. Generally what I try to do is destroy the bastards before attempting to pick up the upgrades. Some of the upgrades change, so... I want to have a very clean, very clean surroundings before I decide do I want to upgrade something or switch weapons. Fucking bastard. Primary weapon. Holy shit. That was accidental. What kind of upgrade is this? This is not an upgrade. You motherfuckers. I am pretty sure that they took an upgrade. I thought I would have... A wonderful weapon and I end up with shit. Rampage deplete, I also lost rampage. I lost everything, my life is meaningless now. It's time to fight the boss. I accidentally lost some rockets, so I don't have as many rockets as I had before. But it's fine. Come on, you bastard. Open your hands. Open your jaws, you piece of shit. Ouch. Okay. There we go. Feel the pain. Do I have more rockets? I do have some. Not a lot. So be careful. Be 
The bastard is sneaky. Okay, I guess the best thing to do here would be to try to hit him from behind. But it doesn't really hurt him. It only hurts him if I hit him be between his his arms. Fuck. Shit. It's not good. Fuck. It's not good. My health is pretty much dead. And he still has half a, half a life left. Now look at this shit. No! That was accidental. Accident! So you missed, bitch. Open your... Holy shit, I'm... I dodged everything. Holy shit in my ass. If I get killed after everything that I have been through... I am seriously going to... Fucking bastard. Open your arms. Thank you. Too many, too many fucking bastards. But it's fine, you're still alive. Ouch. So many. Die, bitch. Fucking Christ. Oh man. Oh man, that was fucking crazy. So the primary weapon got downgraded to shit, but the secondary weapon is kinda good, so we're gonna see what happens. This is a difficult one, just so you know. This is the difficult level. So surviving this is probably going to be impossible, you know, <laughs> just saying, hello, Jesus Christ, look at this. So many of them, stupid bastards, you're all gonna die. I have no idea how am I able to dodge pretty much everything. Because dodging all of this is kind of it's kind of crazy. I like it. I like it. Look at this big dude. Keeps throwing these little stupid balls at me the entire time. He's still not dead. Still not dead. Finally, Jesus Christ! I need an upgrade. I need an upgrade immediately. Hey, where is the, the thing? Where is the thing that gives me upgrades? Thank you. Finally, thank you. Now I'm going to be able to do more, some more damage. I mean, the damage done is still kind of shit. It's still kind of crappy. It's definitely better than before, but... Crapness still persists in the world of... Blue Rider. Oh, 20% health. Thank you very much. Hello. Oh, shit. That is quite a bit of them. Okay, I am pretty sure that I have done everything that I could here. Or maybe not. Maybe not everything. Oh, there's one more. One more stage right here. Hopefully I will be able to do stuff. 
I need to get to the upgrade. Quickly. Quickly! Dodge the bastards. Get to the upgrade. Oh, the dodging skills. Nice, nice. I got the upgrade. Shit. Okay, this shit. Shit. Yeah. I, crap, I'm not going to survive this. Not going to survive this. Oh, Jesus. Don't, please. I'm a good person. I live my life in peace and harmony with everyone around me. I don't deserve this. <sighs> he might score 48,000. Blue Rider. Nice game. I like this game. Even though it can get a little bit tedious, you know, if you constantly keep dying, you know, over and over again. So, I'm not really sure how to feel about that. But, you know, it is enjoyable, so feel free to check it out. It has come out a few days ago. Ah, I'm okay with it, so it has my approval. Thank you for watching, my dear beautiful bastards. I have been Petr, your glorious lord, and may the blessings of Petardia eternally touch your mind.